Now I say let's shift a little bit from who left it to do you think this is the horn of winter? Well, um, huh. Okay. I think, well, it is, it is something, it is definitely significant, you know, because it could be the horn of winter, but then also we don't, all we have are rumors as to what the horn of winter can do, you know, it's, it's like when you have the sword, when you think of like these magical, these ancient artifacts or whatever that uh, had great power or whatever, it's more the wielder. It's more the person mm-hmm. who has the horn or has a Zora or has the, has Lightbringer or has the sword or whatever. And sometimes there's often blood magic associated with it. So it could very well have like like have the potential to do something awesome in the right hands i i, I kind of think i think it makes more sense that it is one it's a horn that was right in front of us we we kind of forget about we've lost track of it and then now it's i, I believe it's in still with sam i think right i, I could be wrong i, I don't have that yeah in yeah i think me, but, i know um, yeah yeah i i think so yeah and so it's getting closer to the other horn that we have dragon binder or whatever <laughs> but but i don't if know like, is, um, right yeah it, yeah if it is if it is, if it is dragon binder yeah absolutely because they admit they, they flat out admit that the horn that mance had and was pretending cause he just he failed he just he looked for it didn't find it couldn't find it um it, it does make me wonder if benjen when he was ranging if he figured out something like like that the, the wildlings were on to something or that they were that they were searching these graves and maybe he was led to one or maybe he came across some wildlings who actually had it and he intercepted them on their way to Mance and took it from them and, and hit it, you know, like, is, is that something? Um, and then, you know, did, did he then hide it? And then the werewood saw it. And then blood Raven knows to lead ghost and John there that, that, that is a possibility, but, um, yeah. Is, is it the horn of winter? I, I, I don't, I don't know. It's, it's definitely significant in, in some way. There's no reason to, to really, unless it's just to throw us off completely, because we have another horn that is actually thrown in the fire and burned, and it's just it's nothing. Melisandre does away with that, but the this horn, it's got a crack in it too. I think doesn't it? It's got like um, mm-hmm. it's old and wore out. And again, the fact that there's a bron- that it's it's got bronze on it, um, will tell you kind of how old it is, and that and that it could have been, uh, the horn of Jormund. So. It'd be interesting right, yeah, to see we know, if, it, if it were passed so, off I to mean, Mance and what would Mance say? Would he be able to say, yeah, that actually I can see markings or indications that, that say that is, yes, you know, that is the one. So, I mean, maybe that would, I mean, who knows? Maybe that would be why, um, I mean, say so if you look at it, right, let's, let's say that Benjen is the one who, who buried it. Let's, let's, let's dive down. Let's dive down that rabbit hole. Mm-hmm. Well, so let's say, so Benjen goes north and he, maybe he, maybe he stopped. I don't know. He, he hears rumors and stuff that Mance is gathering at the frost fangs. He's gathering this huge army. So it's possible that, um, Benjen goes and, and searches that out and find out, finds out what he's doing and then possibly believes it's true or whatever. And so he, is like I have to find this thing first, right? Like, and so, yeah. I mean, maybe he, maybe he does. Maybe he does find it. And he's like, I gotta hide this thing, mm-hmm. and that's that's ultimately what's happening. It still doesn't explain what happens to Benjen, right? I mean, no, because it right. seems like if he buries it at the fist of the first Ben, that's pretty far away from the. I mean, not pretty. I mean, it's not pretty far away, but it's certainly far enough away, given the territory um, from the Frostfangs, that it feels like he would get he would get captured, unless he's attacked by like whites or or, or something um, that you know would would cause that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. What 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 propels him to 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 do that? And does and also like, I mean, I think the reason I brought up the whole idea that maybe. Benjen or someone was was intercepting like if you don't really know it's not that Benjen's out there looking for the horn of of winter or whatever or, or even looking right. at dragon glass but if you if you see this other group that you're like in in opposition with and they're doing something that seems atypical and it's not normal and you you want and all of a sudden you see them go they're digging up graves uh and you're wondering what what's this all about and then you find a, a small village where they dug one up and there there's a lot of buzz and excitement about it well I'm going to go figure out what that is because that could be harmful to the watch and to the realm, you know? And so, and that's, that's where maybe then 
um, we get with that. But j- just in recap, while you're looking something up there, I, I wanted to go over um, the Horn of Winter. The the it is it's supposedly this legendary horn, magical properties, right? Thousands of years ago, Jormon, the king beyond the wall, blew the horn, woke giants from the earth, and the free folk believe that the horn can bring down the wall. They believe that. That I don't know if that you know mm-hmm. is that true or not. Um, it's uh, Egret who tells John that they had been digging up the graves, opening graves of kings, old kings and heroes, uh, and trying to see if the horn was there, and. It's, I think, Tormund later on who says that we, we never found it. Um, that, that basically admits that, like, it, you know, it, he says that, um, uh, let's see. Well, that he was going to sound that, okay, they did have a horn, right? But the one that no one really believed it was, I mean, I don't know. I, to, to some degree, I think they were hopeful that it would be the horn, and then Melisandre, it is, it's eight feet long, right? It's this massive thing, and it's got, it's got these ancient, um, you know, markings on it that indicate it was, it was from the time of the first men. Uh, but Melisandre throws it in the fire and burns it. Uh, burst into green and, and yellow flame, and, you know, that's, that's it. So Tormund mentions to John that uh, Mance never found the Horn of Winter, instead claiming the horn burned by Melisandre as Jormund's uh, because of its size. So that was the main thing. And that they were saying, you know, it, it looks so big and it looks, it's different. Um, I don't know. Yeah. So it, it, it also kind of, when you, when it's described, reminds me of Dragon Binder, actually. Yeah. Which I think is interesting. So, you think you of know, Ice Dragons right. and you go, wait a second. <laughs> right. Is I there... mean, so, in- right. so interesting thing, right? Um, you know, so the, the horn Sam has it, right? It's cracked. So the idea would be maybe, you know, that's why it, it didn't, it didn't work or, or whatever before. Um and maybe Sam will fix it while he's at Old Town. That's that's some of that's some of the theories. Um, and then you know it's uh, one of the things is that Sam ends up you know keeping it right when mm-hmm. he's trading everything he can for some money. He says you know by the time the dealing was done, Sam was down to his boots uh, and blacks and small clothes and the broken horn Jon Snow had found in the fist of the first man. That's from Samwell for a feast for crows. So I mean he's still got that horn. Yeah. Okay. Good. I thought. All I thought. The, you know. All. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Exactly. But it's like it's just interesting that that's they George makes reference of it obviously in a feast for crows that that he still has that horn while he's traveling to Old Town. Hmm. You know, I forgot. Uh, and it is. It's right here. It is. It were that John. Well, I think it's the next one. John does try to sound the horn, doesn't he? He tries to, and it does not work. Um, yeah, it doesn't work because it's broken. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's got that. It's got that crack in it, which. It's got a crack in it, right? Could it crack the wall? I mean, maybe. I don't know. (laughs) Maybe. You know? Uh, But that is, yeah, Sam being the one who can fix things and and knows about old. And that's why John gives it to him, because he likes old, old things and might be, you know, uh, it's curious. It's very curious. He also has it in a place where there's a ton of um, knowledge, you know? Right. And that's that's the the Sphinx. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. (laughs) See, never forget. I mean, there's so many mysteries and riddles down there that it that it's like, wow, this this is something. Um, and the fact that he still yeah, has and it and is, is yeah. Odd. And then here and then here here we go too. Um, a Clash of Kings, John three. Just a little bit about the the lore of it. I and long before them came the horned lord and the brother king Gendel and Gorn and in the ancient days of Joramon, who blew the horn of winter and woke giants from the earth. Each man of them has broke his strength on the wall or was broken by the power of Winterfell on the far side. So it doesn't necessarily mean that the wall is going to come down, right? Mm-hmm. What if it's – it could just be a horn that controls winter or raises things out of the ground. It could raise something that's still totally possible in the books, an ice dragon, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, hey, we'll wake dragons from stone. Well, here we have a here we have a horn that's capable of, at least from what we see, can wake giants from the earth. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and and you know, I, I actually go back. Let me let me back up for a second. So, if if you look on, oh god, there's a bunch of different forms where, where you can find information. Yeah. Theories. Don't on, forget, on the Samuel Tarley is from Horn Hill. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, let's, let's go. <laughs> let's get- 
that's the kind I'm of stuff. I'm sure there's like 10 of our listeners right there who are like, that's it. I'm that's in. A, no, I'm in. I, that's it. Yeah, you make those like one, those word association connections and you're like, all right, right there, there we go. Yeah, from Horn Hill. <laughs> um, so, and so, so he has the horn. I'm he's got saying. the horn, yeah. Uh, he is, well, and actually, you know, you, you, Sam, I know John thinks about it too, but like, uh, right there later on, Sam is the one who hears that the the three the three horn soundings right for when we hear when we first kind of encounter the the whites or the others, um, but the horn that that uh, Mance Raider has, their whole big selling factor on this is that, that in ancient like the the description from you know however many years ago right is that it was supposed to be like eight eight right. feet long or something like that Just and so they find that. one that's like that but I kind of think that was like somebody else. You, you imagine five right. to a thousand, two thousand years ago claimed they had it, and just because it was a powerful relic and maybe gave them sway among the other, um, you know, tribes or, or, or whatever, you know, other, other groups, factions, uh, societies up there with the wildlings. And really, it was probably, you know, they, they haven't seen its like since who knows, who knows when. I don't know. But then, it, yeah. So. I'm with hey, you, man. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm. I'm. No, I'm. I'm. I'm with you on it. Hundred. Hundred percent. We don't I think, know its power. We don't know. It's not been. We don't. We've never heard it sounded. So, right. We. Yeah. We. We. We don't. We don't know what its power is. I mean, you got to think though. The fact that Sam still has this broken horn is gonna mean something. Mm-hmm. Why would you? Why would you hold on to it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, exactly. No, the, unless it's something. just like say like it's like the lost and shield, right? Well, it, how how like Brienne, you know, carry, has that that thing. The shield just shows up a couple. You know, it shows up and he references it a couple times. Like you know, is it just some big mystery? Is Gerdas have all of these open threads, mm-hmm. which is entirely possible. That's that we think is going to lead <laughs> us down. It's like he's literally drawing a maze, right? And sometimes you know, you're, when you're looking at a big maze, you're like, oh, okay, go down here, go down here, go down here, go. Down. Oh, that's a dead end. Now I got to go all the way back. Yeah, you yeah. know, and then maybe that's maybe that's what he does. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. Don't don't get me started on the number of uh, different threads we have going away from each other that I don't think right. or I don't see coming together, and I'm like, wow, that's not going to end, uh, or we're not going to get any conclusion to it but anyways the 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 horn one of the last things i want to say about it i guess is that um oh it, it's just it's 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 intriguing because it there's just a lot of potential with it the cover to winds of winter is a horn right yeah isn't that isn't that the, the i don't know if that's an official cover or not but like that it's it's a horn so yes my, is it actually depicting the horn though? Let me let me pull this up. I mean, is that official? Well, we don't. I I don't know. It's it's just, it's a horn, I, I suppose. Right. So it's a horn, um, and it looks like it's got some some bronze on it. It looks. I mean, you look at this. Why why would there be a horn on on the Winds of Winter cover, Matt? You know. Yeah. I mean, you know, the well, daggers why is on that the cover. The dagger is on the cover of a Game of Thrones, and the dagger is pretty freaking important in that book. I mean, uh, whether it's like you know, some like the, the dagger Arya is going to use to kill the Night King, like she did in the show, isn't necessarily as important. But I mean, just in the Game of Thrones story, that dagger is pretty freaking important, right? I mean, the dagger is used to almost kill Bran, and then the dagger is something Catelyn uses, you know, later to be like, hey, look, I mean, how did you get this Valyrian steel weapon? Baelish is like, oh, it's mine. I lost it to tear. I mean, the dagger is like an item that moves yeah. the entire first story. So whether or not it is the actual Horn of Winter, it can be blown, you know, any any of this stuff. Um, and maybe it's just Dragonbinder on the cover and it's called uh-huh. Winds of Winter and it's to lead us to think, oh, it's actually going to be about the Horn of Winter, but really it's going to be about Dragonbinder. Um, it, but still, I mean, there's two horns and the fact that he still has this horn, I think it's going to lead to something. Yeah, no, yeah, hundred percent. You know what? You know what I was thinking. What would be crazy is we have another horn, as you say, Dragonbinder, that we know about. We've seen that it does some pretty terrible things to the people who who blow that horn. It, would it not be wild to think if that horn's purpose was to bind a dragon? And we talked oh, yeah. about this like not not too long ago, and that there being an ice dragon that it could, if you if you if you bound an ice dragon, whether that ice dragon is in the wall or is just north of the wall somewhere in the mountains or whatever. 
I mean, you bind that, I'm telling you right now, the winds of winter are coming off of that dragon's wings. You know what I mean? Like, that. there's there's the winds. I mean, the dragon itself is, is stirring them up. So, um, anyways, just food for thought. It's just kind of kind of crazy but yeah the fact that and i i I guess i'd never really thought too much about it when i look at the cover of of what i think is i think that's the cover um or what yeah yeah. i mean i think i think it's got to be at this point i mean it's it's so synonymous with that book yeah i don't know if someone i don't i I mean i think he has it's i think he has it on his website i'll go look but i'm i'm pretty sure that's just kind of a big deal <laughs> so and we're dealing with dragon binder oh, already yeah. and maybe it's just to throw us off and that's dragon binder but also sam's got a got that horn and i mean it does have on the the, the cover um of, of this it's got a it's it's intricate it looks like it, maybe it's more intricate than what is being described about uh sam's horn so i don't know i don't know man yeah, it's a lot. Yeah, I'm, I'm, look, I'm, I'm looking here to see on his website because I'm pretty sure he has on his on his website. There's like a winds of winter thing, and um, yeah, but you're right though. The dagger is right there on that on the. Yeah, I mean, and then you have then you have like a crown, which is on the is on the second one, and I think a storm of swords is you know, and a feast for crows or and, and dance of dragons are all just kind of like yeah, whatever. But I mean, I don't know. I mean, it's pretty important. I mean, so I mean, let's see here. So. And of course, you know these have been changed. You know, o- yeah, different over, over time, yeah, different different editions. But what you what I kind of consider to be like the regular thing. I mean, a feast for crows is is like a goblet, right? You know, it's like okay, boom, it's a it's it, it's it's a goblet. Um, yeah, yeah, dude, because I, don't know. I mean, I think I think they're all freaking important. They are, yeah. I mean, the, it's yeah, it's you know what what I think is interesting is when that first edition does or come a wine out. Wine cup, you, I should say, yeah. Yeah, and, and you see what George kind of or whoever is you know, they're looking at and saying, yeah, put this on the cover. I mean, the first the first edition was just a throne, um, right? But what's interesting is is that doesn't look like the Iron Throne that George. So you wonder how much uh, you know George has to do with any of that or or whatever. But they have to know what the object is, I guess, in the book to to kind of say, yeah, this is, the, this is the object we need to put on the cover. So, anyways, I guess we'll get other people's thoughts and, and theories on that. What do you guys think about this horn that Sam has him being from horn Hill? Because it's fascinating to me. Um, he's got to fix it though. That's the thing. He's, he's got to, he's got to figure out how to, I know. mean, he's got it with it. I mean, that's the thing is he's, he's, he's got the horn with him. He's carried it all this time. And now he's in old town and we know it's not Jorah Mormont that's going to show up that he's going to fix his grayscale. So unless they, they do go down that route with John Connington in the books, which is something we, we've talked about, then Sam's going to find something else out at, at what, Old Town, and we're, and we're going to find out what that's going to be. Yeah, what if Sam is like it, like it, he's reading about the... the Because a, a lot of people and a lot of the theories are that we've been misled on what the Horn of Winter or the Horn of Jormon it actually is. is. And that because it's described as having intricate, um, you know, engravings or whatever you want to call it, inscriptions. And this horn that Sam has doesn't seem to have those. Or if they were there, they were worn away Uh, because if it's that old, I mean, you know, maybe that's possible. Um, So the evidence against it is that it doesn't seem to sound like the it's not it's what we see Sam holding and John trying to blow is not what is described by the wildlings and others as, as the horn of winter. So, but if Sam were at, at the Citadel and he reads like, Oh, you know, uh, he starts to read, read a description of it and he goes, Holy cow, you know, God's be good. Here it is. I got, I got, I got it right here. I'm holding it, holding the horn. I don't know. Right. But well, um, what if it's like, um, I'm trying to think here is it Indiana Jones and the last crusade where they're going after the Holy grail, right? And isn't isn't there like three grails or something? He has to drink. He has to like grab the right one, otherwise like everything's gonna fall. And like so, am I remembering yeah, he, that correctly? Oh, there's tons there's, of there's there's, there's tons. There's a, there's a bunch pick. of, and he has to pick the right yeah. one. And so he ends up picking like the most basic one. Yeah. Because yep. he was like, well, he's a carpenter, right? So like this would be it would be a wood, you know, like it would be the most basic one. Well, what if that's the same thing that you know with the with the horn? And it's like, mm-hmm. oh, it's not gonna be this super elaborate thing it's gonna be something relatively basic right right yeah that that would be that that could be that that definitely could be um it makes sense makes sense that we're looking for something that's really fancy and that's that's not 
Um, it's not what we need. And if it is that old, uh, it, you know, it could be wore out. It could have been a really awesome, epic looking horn back in the day. And again, I go back to maybe it's not even the horn. Maybe it's more about like, uh, who blows you know, it or... who, who, yeah, that, that kind of, that yeah, kind of maybe stuff. you need somebody from horn Hill. Yeah. Did you know, and this is just a random, uh, uh thing I was, I was reading ahead in, in a, a storm of swords and I'm almost done by the way. I'm like, I'm blitzing through just cause I, I'm trying to really cover some mm-hmm. more ground again. And Melisandre is talking about Lightbringer. And I bring this up because it's like magical artifacts, these things, these, these, these objects, swords, horns, whatever. And so in, in R'hllor, there's just this, and we got to remember that Melisandre is also from a Shai too. So a shadow binder that she's, she's her background's mysterious, but she says that it was that Lightbringer was forged in the fires, the fires that, that destroyed the seven gods. You know, and I'm just I was thinking about that the other day, and I was just like the seven. Now wait a second, we're talking about like, like the set when the seven come into you know, air quote existence or the the Andals right kind of, and then I'm thinking back to when Lightbringer was supposed to be around and its origin story and how it was forged in these fires that brought destruction to the seven gods. Well, I thought there was just there's just one god, you know. But anyways, that was that was kind of. Uh, so a lot of this stuff can get kind of uh, construed and and, and uh, lost over time, mm-hmm. especially well, when we're talking here, thousands me, of years. And let me and let me let me just read one last thing here, and then we'll we'll close up shop with the Horn of Winter here. Um, so some theories against it is that the whites or the others pay no attention to the horn when they encounter Sam, not even the lone other that Sam comes face to face with, who he kills. But I guess my thing is, is there's a difference between a broken piece of junk and maybe the Horn of Winter. Maybe it's doesn't. Maybe it's not powerful. Who knows? Um, but it's almost like if it's broke, it's not really the same as a true magical object because he's got to he's got to fix it, right? It's almost like the difference between a dragon egg and a dragon. People thought those dragon eggs would never hatch. They're like, yeah, you know, they're they're great, but the dragons are gone. They're never they're never coming back. Right. So there's a difference between a you know petrified dragon egg and a big full life dragon right two totally yes. <laughs> totally yes. different things and it's only danny who can really sense the magic in them mhm mhm yeah i get that no I, I i'm with you i think uh that's to me that that one was kind of weak i i i saw that right. I, I read that as well and it's like so what i mean that that's not their charge they're not looking for for that whole, i mean also i don't know we don't know enough about the others and their lifespan and whether or not that other would actually know it was around i mean are they like right how old are they they exactly it may be able to control the other so who knows anywho that's good that's a that's a that's a that's a a decent place to 